Hello, today I'm doing a music video review for the video Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe by Kendrick Lamar. Okay, so first off, I love the song. Um, I, I don't understand people are, um, I've seen negative comments with people um, saying that he's degrading women by saying the word bitch. First of all, if you listen to the lyrics of the song, he's not even, it doesn't even sound like he's talking about a particular person. He's talking about, um, you know, record companies trying to get him to change his sound to um, fit with the, you know, typical songs that are played on the radio. So, and, and a bitch could be anything that, you know, anyone who annoys you, it doesn't necessarily have to do with a female. So, let's just get that straight. Okay, so basically, the video, um, it takes place inside a, a, well, the first part, it takes place at a funeral. Everybody is dressed in all white, which is like, um, I guess some people, uh, typically, people wear black for funerals, but in this case, um, they're wearing white. And, um, you know, Kendrick Lamar is going up to pay his respects to the casket, then he leaves, you know, it's like two angels or two um, nice looking women appear in the doorway of the church and... Um, you know, they take Kendrick off and he rides off in a limo and then basically the party begins and they're just like getting crunk in the limo after the funeral. And it's crazy because, um, you know, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe is like a rather laid back song. So, you know, I've been to his concert and of course at the concert you turn up on this song, but it's really not a song that you... Uh, like really get crunk to this is like one of a uh, more laid back song in my opinion so it was just uh, ironic that they were like really getting crunk to the song in the video and um, Mike Epps is in the video <laughs> and it was so funny so you know I had like a little bit of a comedic spin to it um, and then you know when they go to the the burial site or whatever they turn up and they party some more all the people in the wedding uh, the funeral party you know they're outside drinking dressing all white just turning up and at the end of the song um he has a statement where he says death to molly and i just love it um as you guys know molly is a pop i guess it's a form of ex ecstasy and it's the newest drug that's currently being you know talked about by a lot of rappers but more so in a positive way in this case he's shedding light on the fact that it's you know negative he's saying death to Mighty, like you know come on y'all cut it out and I love it so my interpretation of the video is that you know everyone's dressed in all white I don't know maybe the white uh, may symbolize, symbolize purity and they're basically putting death to Molly you know just like you know getting rid of the drug and in the video as you can see the drug is dead but they're still turning up they're still having a good time so maybe he's saying that you can still have a good time and you know um, enjoy yourself and celebrate whatever without the use of a drug such as ecstasy or molly and whatnot and I really I really love the message of the video because I feel like you know especially currently um, molly and drugs in general and hip-hop they have been glorify and it's that freedom of speech is allowed and you know if, if that's your thing okay you're allowed to speak about it but i think it becomes a, a big uh, issue especially when there's no balance when people are only saying that they do it they do it they do it but they're not talking about the negative effects of it like look what's going on with little wayne who you know this this is your body you only get one body and so as a result i think that um you know think rappers really need to pay attention to you know what they're saying and how it could pop potentially influence people yeah they don't have to you know say anything about the negative side effects but you know let's speak the truth about it let's be real about it and I really hope this video um, starts an open dialogue about drug use in the hip-hop culture in the music industry because um, people are losing their lives health is deteriorating as a result and slowly but surely may also be killing you and you can become addicted addicted which will ultimately you know ruin your quality of life so a couple minutes a couple hours of you know ecstasy you know could bring a lifetime of pain so I think we also need to talk about that and I just love the fact that he's um, creating that forum and I also just love I just love 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 his uh, the fact that you know he's creative creative 
the, the video had a storyline and that's something that you know I feel like is lacking in a lot of music videos today um, I'm, I'm just like get back to the old-fashioned you know days when it's not just about turning up in the club but it's also the the, the video is telling a story and it's you know uh, you have good visuals to go along with the song and so I just love 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 that creativity I love the fact that the video makes you think because it's multiple interpretations of um, how you can perceive this video and so um, that's my take on the video I hope you enjoyed this review and peace